fibroids. If you're a woman, especially an African-American woman, chances are you've heard of them or you even have them. They're non-cancerous tumors that develop in 70% of all women. They cause problems in about a quarter of that group. I am one of those women. I recently had surgery to alleviate some of the complications and problems associated with them. While fibroids are common and the treatment is too, my journey was still painful. So with the goal of helping someone else, I'm doing something I don't like to do. I'm sharing my story. Last June, I married the man of my dreams, and just a few months later, my body put our vows to the test. Several issues, prolonged pain, fatigue, hair loss, to name a few. I saw doctors, but no one and nothing seemed to help. Finally, I did my own research and remembered what a doctor told me years ago. I have fibroids. Fibroids are, are benign masses, um, non-cancerous. This is the uterus, these are the tubes and the ovaries. So fibroids can be found within the cavity, they can be found within the muscle, such as these, they can be found right on the outside, and they can also be found on the stalk. It's not clear what causes them. Genetics and race play roles. Research shows black women are most likely to develop them. Many have them, most don't need treatment. Those who do often experience heavy periods, pelvic pain, anemia, and in rare cases, problems getting pregnant or even miscarriages. Last spring, my new gynecologist, Dr. Chandra Gravely, listened to my concerns. She rechecked my records and decided I would be a good candidate for one specific surgery, a myomectomy. The goal of the myomectomy is to remove the fibroids while keeping the uterus intact. Important if you hope to have children. We do. The surgery took a couple of hours. There weren't any complications, but there were more than a few surprises. You were put to sleep, and we made a, an incision in the lower portion of your abdomen, and we went through the muscles, and we got to the uterus. Now, you had a fairly large uterus, and you had, by the ultrasound that you'd had in the past, you had multiple fibroids. Dr. Gravely initially believed there were six fibroids. Once inside, she found these 20 tumors. It's common to go in and find more than what you see on ultrasound because you had some small ones. Um, and, you know, ultrasound is a nice um, modality technique to try to find fibroids. But until you're actually in there looking, that, that's really the only way to know for sure. I spent two nights, three days, in the Tri-Health Bethesda North Hospital. Generally, the surgeons will talk to the patients and let them know, number one, um, we will never get rid of all your pain when you have surgery, but we like to get it to a comfortable level. Recovery first included slowly reintroducing food into my diet. Next came movement. My core muscles had been cut, so just pushing my body to sit up and walk. A few feet was so painful, I literally sobbed. We like to have the patients somewhere between four and five or so before they leave. Um, and we will just kind of keep giving pain medicine. Not just that, but we also do other uh, forms of pain relief, such as repositioning patients, um, warmth. Then came weeks of rest at home. My husband stayed by my side for weeks. My parents visited and my friends sent me love. So all in all, eight weeks post-op, I feel stronger and just plain better overall, even though I'm losing my voice. I was scared to death and didn't want to talk about my problems or the procedure before the operation, but a good friend, a good doctor, and my amazing family walked me through it and held my hand. And I hope my story does the same for someone else out there. Now, just to be clear for folks mm -hmm. who are watching, you know, we saw that incredible picture that gross picture yes. yeah it was kind of <laughs> gross but more incredible than gross i think yeah. Just, oh, it was all those tumors those were mm -hmm. all inside of your those body were 20 tumors that were inside or around my uterus and i mean initially they thought there were six that's all you could see in the ultrasound yeah but when she got in there there were 20. yeah and so. various sizes and, mm -hmm. and and the process itself we talked about the pain of it mm -hmm. for for women who hear this and say Wow, I don't know if I could go through that. What would you tell them? It's tough, but it's worth it. I mean, yeah. clearly, you know, it's only been eight weeks post-op, but I already have seen and noticed and feel a difference. And so, you know, we can only hope that in the weeks ahead and months ahead, it'll help out with everything. Uh, but I would say if you're considering it, to do it. I was scared, and I'd never had any sort of hospital sure. stay or any sort of real procedure done, yeah. so I was terrified. Um, but after doing it, I can say, you do it. Go uh, for it. Well, you're very courageous. Thanks Thank for sharing you. that story.